How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to the complete beginner's guide here in Fishing Planet. In today's episode, we're going to be heading to California and we're going to catch every single type of fish here. There's a good diversity of species here. There's a good amount of panfish, there's salmon, there's carp, there's bass, there's steelhead trout, there's catfish, there's sturgeon. There's lots of different things to catch here. It's going to be an absolute blast. Now, it's been a while since I've made a video in this series because I've kind of just been grinding at Michigan. What I've done so far is I'm still using my heavy chaser sport rod, of course. I went ahead and grabbed one of the bottom sniper 300s. I also have an Arctic 370, and then I'm still using the Thora 290. On top of that, here's my current setup for gear. I did spend the 100 bait coins and get the rod pod trio. And then we still have our DLC keep net here with 250 kilograms. In terms of hook sizes, I'm going to be bringing number one, two aught, number eight, one aught, three aught, four aught, and seven aught. This is a good range of hooks. I think we're going to be okay with this. And then for baits, I'm bringing a little bit of everything. I have more capacity now to bring more baits. I'm going to bring those extra baits. So we're going to be bringing blood, crawfish, duck muscle meat, large minnows, medium cut bait, shiners, shrimp, small minnows. We have some spawn sack from a mission. I'm not sure which mission, but we do have some spawn sack. And these are great for sturgeon. We're going to be bringing corn and peas for the carp. We have marshmallows, semolina balls, bloodworms, leeches, mayflies, nightcrawlers, and red worms. And then for lures, I'll just show you guys quickly what I'm going through for lures here. I just bring a little bit of everything. So we got some topwater lures. We got some bass jigs. We got some spinners. Uh, we got some spoons. We just got a little bit of everything. So we should be good to go there. Anyways, grab an advanced license and I'll see you guys in California. I'm over at the Foggy Sanctuary and I just have my three rods set up for panfish. So I got small hooks on. I got semolina balls. I got blood worms and I got some red worms on. For my float rod, I'm just at the deepest I can possibly go. I still have a titanium leader on there just out of habit. So if you want to go deeper, just remove that. But I'm just going to leave it on just because it's not going to really matter. And I'm just going to go ahead and cast out all around the docks. And hopefully I can grab a couple of these panfish quick. There we go. We grabbed a nice little blue gill just right off the dock here. I'm also using my spinning rod as well. I just got a little bass jig on there. Three aught hook. And I'm hoping that's going to actually get me something. Maybe one of these large mouth or small mouth bass. That would be nice and handy. I just cast it out over there. And I'm just doing some stop and go. So hopefully that works. Grabbed a nice ready or some fish with the blood worms rod. I'm just going to recast these because you never know what you're going to get. You can sometimes catch multiple species in the same spot. And there we go. We got a white crappie on the regular red worms rod. So now we just need the bass and the California roach. For the California roach, guys, I just came right in between the docks here. I'm literally standing just to the left of where I was standing before. And I just threw on semolina balls. And there you go. You can just grab them right there. I find those California roach and blood nose minnows, like those really small fish, the semolina balls and the small hooks, they're absolutely perfect. For the different types of bass, I threw on one aught hooks and small minnows on all three of my different rods, and then I'm just going to be using a bass jig. You can kind of use whatever you'd like to try and get it, but I'm just going to go with this for now. And we're just going to cast out towards the uh, little patches of uh, weeds out there. There we go. We got a couple fish on here. We grabbed a small mouth on the first one. Now we can go after this rod. This is a bigger sized fish. This could be a striped bass, actually. But you can see you catch the bass nice and quick here, especially with the small minnows on. Catch them relatively fast. So it was a big striped bass we got. It's not what we're looking for, but I mean, I'll take it any day of the week. We didn't get that, that third fish in, but that's okay. We'll keep fishing here. We'll get that largemouth in. Finally got the largemouth bass. I literally cast it right in front of the dock here with one odd hooks and got it. I kept getting steelhead and stuff when I was casting out there. So I literally just cast it like right here and ended up getting one. So give that a shot if you're having trouble. Since we were just catching steelhead and striped bass here a second ago, I figured why not just recast out. So I was getting more striped bass and steelhead over towards this left patch of weed. So I'm going to cast all of my rods over there. And that's where we're going to go for the steelhead and striped bass. And I've gotten a couple of them from there. So we might as well just continue on fishing there. Grab those two. The sturgeon's going to be easy. The salmon is not too, too hard from what I remember. Uh, the white catfish. I don't know if I've ever caught one of those here, but we'll see. Uh, the carp, not too, not too hard either. But yeah, just cast out like I am right here. Just all around this island right here should be nice and good. You should get steelhead, should get striped bass. There we go. We got a steelhead in already. We got another fish on here. The problem with this Arctic rod, it can't really handle the bigger striped bass and the bigger steelhead. If we do get smaller ones, it's not too bad, which looks like we did get a smaller one here. So that's not going to be too shabby. Hopefully it is a striped bass, but keep casting out towards that left patch of weeds out there and you should end up 
getting a striped bass if you cast more to the left you get striped bass as well you can just get them all over the place here and there we go we actually end up getting one right there so there we go we got the striped bass done i grabbed the chinook salmon over at the dam spot guys so all you're gonna want to do is come on over here it's just this spot up here and i kind of had my rods all over the place so i had one up there i had one right there i had my float rod just kind of sinking down there and then i was also using my spinning rod just over here for the white catfish guys come on down to the southern docks and just go right here directly to your left here on this dock i'm gonna put down multiple rods just to speed things up i'm using number eight hooks and blood if you're not catching the fish change up the hook size but anywhere around here should be good so i'm just gonna kind of cast them all the way down beside these uh little bushes here and there we go there's the white catfish nice and easy took about two seconds for the carp and sturgeon we are going to come down to fishing the beaver now i have three yacht hooks on and i got corn and peas on all three of my rods and all we're gonna do is come right to this spot right here for the carp and then the sturgeon spots right over there uh, most people already know about the sturgeon spot so these last two should be nice and easy we're just going to cast out in that general direction towards those bushes there with corn and peas. And we should be all right to get a nice carp over here. So let's just go ahead, cast all our rods out, and we should be good to go to grab a carp. And there we go, a nice carp. We got another one on probably as well. Sorry for the loud beeping noise, but a nice trophy common carp. Carp are actually really good XP and money here. Uh, it's not as great as the sturgeon, but it is pretty solid. But that's where you're going to grab the majority of the carp here, guys. Is just in this area right here. There's a bunch of different depths you can go to as well. This is actually a really small fish, whatever this is. I guess it could be a catfish, maybe. I don't know, just a really, really small carp. But there you go, guys. That's where you'll grab the carp. Make sure you go to nighttime, throw on four barbless hooks and some spawn sack, and cast on over into the corner area. Actually, anywhere over here will be just fine, guys. And you will go ahead and catch the sturgeon. Uh, but yeah, anywhere from here to all the way over here, nice and easy, super, super quick. And now we are done with the exploration missions. If you're really looking to farm XP here, Sturgeon is absolutely fantastic. The bass and the steelhead and the salmon aren't too bad either. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys later.